read in last week's parsha, the Moshe Rabbeinu. He was giving Musa to Klal Yisrael, and he spoke about the Chet Egel, the synagogue again, and how he broke the first set of Luchos, and how he ascended for another 40 days and 40 nights to supplicate Hashem for forgiveness, and then he went up again, and he brought down Luchos Shnios, the second set of tablets. So when he describes what his state of affairs were during that 40-day period, the first time and the last time, when he'd studied Torah, he says, Lechem lo maim lo shosisi. When I was in Shamayim, studying Torah from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Lechem lo maim lo shosisi. Lo shosisi. And when I went up the second time to receive the Luchas Achronos again, Lechem lo maim lo shosisi. Now the question is, firstly, why do you have to spend another 40 days for Luchas Shnios? If he learned the whole Torah's entirety the first time, when he ascended for the Luchas Rishonos, for the first set of tablets, seemingly the second set of tablets, Klaus were, were at a lesser level. So evidently, he's studying the same thing over again. It says in Chazal that for 40 days, Moshe Rabbeinu studied the whole Torah's entirety. At the end of the day, he would forget. And every day, Hashem would teach him over again the Torah's entirety. And he'd forget until the 40th day, he was able to retain what he, had, what he was taught. So we once explained what was the whole concept to teach and communicate to Moshe Rabbeinu ultimately to give over to Klal Yisrael that since the Torah itself is something in its essence which has no relevance to the physical world it's something which is spiritual in the most absolute sense and the human faculty of the mind is created to process physical information Without that special siyata dishmaya to be able to grasp it and retain it and f- fully process it, it's not possible. And therefore, every day he'd learned the Torah's entirety. By the end of the day, he forgot it. And this was repeated 40 times until the 40th day he retained it. But again, see, if he retained it after the f- first 40 days, what do you have to spend another 40 days for Luchas Achronos, Luchas Shnios, to learn the Torah over again? So evidently it's clear it was a different application of Torah. Since Kalal Yisrael were not at the same level as they were the first time before the Chet Egel and after Chet Egel, before the Chet Egel we would have been the eternal people. Death would have no relevance to us. We had reverted back to before the sin of Odom. The second time we were subject to death. We had that impurity. So the Torah that had to be studied and understood had to be a Torah which has relevance to what? to the finite man. We were finite in the most absolute sense of finite because we were going to die. So the application of the same Torah had to be communicated in a different level to be able to affect us and to elevate us despite our spiritual deficiency as a result of the Chet Egel. But what's the whole concept of Lechem Lo Chaltemayim Lo Shosisi? So the Yalkut, which is the Medjish says, Moshe Rabbeinu says to Klau Yisrael, just as when I was in Shemaim, I gave my blood and my fat to study Torah, although Hashem sustained him, factually he was affected physically. And that only then I was the base kibul, I was the vessel to receive the Torah identically. If you want to be able to internalize and process the Torah properly, you have to be Moses Damchem Vechelbchem. You have to give compromise on your physicality. That's a prerequisite to be able to, how do I know this? Because just my, as myself, Mosarti, Domi V'chelbi Oleo, that's the way you're going to acquire Torah. And it was, he said it again, the second 40 days. Because again, it was for that new level of Torah which had to be presented to a deficient people, which we came as a result of Chet Egel. Again, he said, Lechem lo chalti maim lo shosisi, for the same reason. Now it's interesting, in Pirkei Ovos, and this is the Rambam Hilchas Talmud Torah, Rambam says if you want to acquire Keset Torah, how do you acquire it? Pas Mel Tochal, Maim Besur Tishtel, or it's Tishon Chai Tzar again. So what is, but how does, how does the Tana know this? He'd say everything was communicated, seen at, but where? How do, where do we see Pas Mel Tochal, that you have to minimize your physical intake, the pleasures of life, where do you see you have to minimize it? To acquire Keset Torah, to acquire the crown of Torah, the ultimate level, this is drawn from Moshe Rabbeinu. When Moshe Rabbeinu had communicated to us, Lechem lo chalti lo shosisi, this is exactly what he's telling us, to acquire the ultimate level of Torah, 
one has to compromise on his physicality, only then does he have the capacity to process it correctly. Amen.